Hey everybody, my name's Joe. Welcome back to SNES's Life. Hello, Freya. Welcome into the. How are you? Tonight I'm gonna be playing The Flintstones: The Treasure of Sierra Mad Rock by Taito, which Taito gives me hope. Like they're a solid company. They make good stuff. Uh, the Flintstones is an old Hanna Barbera cartoon from Hanna Barbera. Hanna Barbera cartoon from Jesus the 60s or 70s, I think. Uh, somewhere back in there, but your Fred and Barney, who are wearing their loyal order of the water buffalo hats in this picture, I uh, that I mean this looks just like the cartoon. Not that Fred and Barney. I mean the the Hanna Barbera cartoons were never the most complex to draw, so I don't know if these pictures are are actual artists who worked on the cartoon or the company, or if it's just you know they hired an artist who's able to recreate a reasonable facsimile of. But the artwork looks good. I mean, there's zero question in your head when you see this. That's Fred and Barney. Like, no doubt about it. So I like the box art. I liked the Flintstones as a kid. I could see myself picking this up from the video store. Take a look at the back of the box now. We get an extra couple screenshots, six instead of the usual four, and a little bit different layout. It tells you essentially nothing about the game. The Flintstones, Treasures Here in Madrock. Join the gang on the latest fun-filled adventure. New chance to play with stars. 12 megs action, one or two players, five worlds with multiple stages. Races, roulette, and more mini-games. Awesome intermission screens. Bring Bedrock to life. So if we go in real small here, top left looks like a overworld map. Or maybe not, because it looks like that's Betty, Dragon, Barney. Um, over on the right, it looks like a rear-facing racing minigame. I think this might just be a collection of minigames from the look. Um, the middle one down there looks like Barney swimming under a shark. Left side looks like a pinball pachinko machine. Bottom right looks, again, like a race, a foot race. And then the bottom looks probably like a uh, an interstitial, a cutscene. So. I don't know. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued by it. I don't know that I like the idea of it being a collection of minigames, but it's two players. I don't know if the minigames are played uh, singly or, or with the other people. This might have been like an early proto for, you know, Mario Party or some nonsense. Beige, what is up? Welcome in. How are you this evening? Nice to see you join me. I do have the manual. I have the PAL manual. Did not get a U.S. manual, but... We flip through here. There is no story. I expected a story like, oh, you're searching for the buried treasure of the Sierra Madrock guy. And maybe that is the eventual goal. I don't know. But it doesn't tell you the story here. Water Buffalo Lodge. This does have some art in it. As I've stated many, many, many times, the thing I love about manuals is looking at art and story. It's nice that they tell you the controls. But the controls for this are pretty simple. Uh, there is kind of a big overworld map, apparently. You can climb up and down trees there is some platforming some swimming uh this is apparently kind of a your overworld well the, the the other map was like an overworld map this is like a secondary overworld map i guess uh here's explaining your hud clearing a stage at the end of every stage the last number of the timer drops down to a bingo card you can get some extra lives uh, how to continue the game password saves because they didn't have a battery save apparently wilma and betty will come nab you on the um overworld one of the overworld maps and drag you backwards to impede your progress which is interesting of course you get your item walkthrough of all the things roadside attractions cafe you can refresh yourself grab a bronto burger or dodo egg sandwich Bones, special place, pay a visit, find out. Stadium, the best place to play sports. Pork, park. <laughs> if you have the clams, they'll have games. Always an ex excellent, I think park is a casino. Heart, bonus stage, normal, just your average space. So there you go, not much. Produced by Mattel, apparently. Well, let's see, I'm good, out of town for work. Glad to be going home tomorrow. Well, that's nice. What are you, uh, what are you doing? What do you do for work? Uh, and we're doing well. Thank you, or I'm doing well. Freya, I literally had to force a small bird through a bit out of it. You had to force a small bird through water boring. That's weird. Monkey! Flintstones meet Flintstones. What is going on, monkey? I heard you uh, talking with 
Adam on, uh, remember the game about Final Fantasy VII today. I would just like to state, JRPGs suck. <laughs> Although, if there was another JRPG that I played a lot of, it was definitely Final Fantasy VII, because that was the thing at that time, and I was, I think that came out when I was like 14, so I definitely played it. I don't think I ever beat it, but I got real far. So, Goober, what's going on, man? Have an interesting way of life. Yes, you do, Freya. You're up way too late and apparently waterboard birds, which is just kind of weird. We're going to turn this game on. We're going to see what it's all about. I am a little intrigued. I'm curious if it's like all mini. Well, I mean, it's obviously not all mini games. It's definitely some platforming in here, but it's just interesting that it uh, put in a bunch of mini games. Dino. The sprite work looks pretty decent. The animations look good. Also, it's nice to see they sprung for the uh, the music, unlike uh, what was it? Inspector Gadget, remember? They didn't have the freaking Inspector Gadget theme song. Animation looks good. I like this. Again, Taito's a good company. I hope they, they did something good. Oh, well, we're going to go with Maximum Lives. Thank you. Music, sound, test, that's it. Just, well, I'm gonna take extra lives, why not? One player, thank you. Here's our story. This is what we were looking for. But gee, Fred, haven't you heard? Heard about what, Barney? I can't do a Fred imitation. I sound more like Barney. There's rumor going around. Grand Pooh. Retire. This could be our big break. Boy. Off a Grand Pooh ball. Insulation, mold, sump pumps, and DNA poison. Oh, God. Crawl spaces? That sounds awful. <laughs> I have a couple friends who used to work for Comcast doing cable installs and they hated crawl spaces. For an important reason. You're going to serve as your grandpa for 15 years. The time has finally come for me to retire. Oh, I skipped way too much of that. <laughs> I just wanted to speed the text up, not scream to the bottom. Sierra Mad, treasure will take my place as Grand Poobah. Alright, so I, you have to find the treasure of Sierra Mad Rock to become the Grand Poobah, I guess. It's not fun, but the money's great. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Along with everybody else. And away we go. So interesting animation note, uh, i.e. fun fact, the reason Barney and Fred have no necks and they have like the tie is uh, it was cheaper to animate because they didn't always have to move the body around when they wanted the head to turn, they just had to turn the head because they had no neck. It was less cells of animation to get it done. So. Uh, it's kind of Mario Party-ish, isn't it? One, two, three. Huh! Interesting. There's something to be said for good money, Beach. Interesting, so I get to play both characters. There's 
stars are basically coins in this game. Controls are responsive. Come on, Barney. Jump your stubby little legs up there, man. There we go. I just realized that there is a timer in this game. I was almost out of time. Get me. She gonna get me. Damn it. I'm gonna try and jump on the frog. He hasn't even been in a level yet, huh? Hell, Barney has been in a level. He's only got two. Flintstone, oh, where in the world have you been? We're going home now. Aw. What the hell? <laughs> you just dragged him that way, lady. I don't, I don't want Betty to find me. So I'm going to assume that none of you in the chat have ever played this game. It is less like Mario Party than I thought it would be. <laughs> but I feel like it's still maybe got a little bit of that in here. Oh, no warning that that was coming. That kind of reminds me of uh, Sunset Riders. Damn. That was a short, short level. Oh, and a zero just gives me a fruit. Terribly long thus far. 
I feel like it's also early in the game, so... Damn, shark! Rude? Kind of oh, actually, that's not so bad with Betty dragging him. He goes on the other side of the map, I guess. Also, it looks like there's someone above me, so I wonder what that is. Oh, I'm guessing this is where we were trying to get. Occasionally lose the goodies. I have no idea how this works. Okay. Oh god. We're gonna reload that. It's, it's kind of like a really janky Mario Kart. God, I'm gonna have to beat this guy, I bet. And I don't think that's gonna happen. have to beat him to like finish this area. I'll just keep playing and find out I suppose. The back of the box did say hours of fun. But it might count hours of fun as in hey you're gonna be doing this a lot for a long time. Buckaroos. I should have the money to actually go in the casino this time.
Okay. It's just pachinko. Can't do anything to it. It's just pachinko. With some really wonky physics. Oh my god. I would almost rather just be able to go one level at a time than to have this whole random roll thing. I find random rolls kind of irritating. What the hell? That's not fair, I can't even see him. Bullshit that level is. So we know the dude's not up here anymore, so I think I have to go down. Interesting. Do I remember the one film with the monkey man that basically paddled around on his translucent must boy above the man's pointing mouth? Pierce of the light. Assuming that's a real movie, Freya? No. No, I do not. And what do you think seems amusing, Goober? The movie that Freya's describing or the game? <laughs> Okay. 
have no clue. I have no clue what movie that is either. I just realized also that you carry your health over from level to level, which is kind of interesting. And yeah, the game's not bad. The levels are very short, which is nice. Um, the graphics are good, and the buttons and everything, and the moves are responsive. It's a little simple, but there's nothing wrong with that. I... I'm a little concerned in that... I think to get to the next stage, I'm going to have to eventually find the... Uh, guy that I was racing earlier and beat him in the race, which is potentially annoying. But there's definitely obviously like some variety in the levels. Like that one's kind of interesting. And this is just like the first stage, so... Here's a bingo, I should get a one-up, yeah. And I found an extra heart, so Fred has five hearts instead of four now. So there's power-ups to be had. I guess my, my other concern is if I don't have to just beat that dude in the race for the map, like, do I have to beat every level in this thing? Because that's equally kind of annoying. I played that level before already. Have I played that level before already? I don't remember. I like the bingo board. You can purposely wait until the timer's on a number you already have, though, and then you get your health. That's kind of convenient. Damn, the paddy wagon. This isn't fair at all. Well, he's better drop a health out for me here. I'm pissy. there, I think. Not what I already done did. No, this is different. Okay. Gotta figure that aim out, huh? Oh, come on. I'll wait for that heart to come back by. Assuming it does. <laughs> Shots. I'd much rather have the heart. <laughs> Extra life. So the manual didn't say how to advance from world to world, so I don't know if I have to beat every level or, or just find that guy and beat him in a race. 
thinking by the time I find that guy again, I might have beat every damn level in the area. Well, the game's certainly generous with the number of lives it gives you. I'm afraid I'm going to get a game called Shadow Force for the IRK. It looks freaking awesome. It's a beat em up. Shadow Force, huh? I'll have to look that one up. Oh my god, Barney. Alright, yeah, I really am not a fan of the rolling to see how far you move. I just, I just want to find the guy and or go beat the levels I haven't yet. Rolling is just kind of a pain in the ass. There he is. Hey, you guys want the map? Beat me in a race, I bet. Shit off. This is it. I have to beat him in a foot race. Wow, that's kind of a bummer. Alright, so I'm going to save state it at the start of this race. And, uh, yeah. We're just going to play this, I guess, until I can... I would like to say that he does not appear to slow down when he hits the dirt spots. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, come on now. Woo! <laughs> I managed it. I do kind of like the Mario Kart thing. I mean, I don't care for the race itself, but they did it pretty good graphically speaking. So I'm guessing that's like the whole world map. Whereas this is just the, the regular map. So. So, I've, again, I have no idea what to do. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and head up and see if I can go up this path without having to do anything else. And hopefully I don't have to beat every level or something stupid. That would be nice. I don't have a lot of faith in that. And as such, I'm gonna send Barney around. <laughs> At least beat other levels if I, that way if I end up having to, I won't have to walk too far back then. Are you guys all familiar with the Flintstones? Like, before tonight? You guys all watched that cartoon, I assume? Most of you are roughly in the same general age I am. Oh, that was kind of shitty. <laughs> Old Barney doesn't have much of a jump. That's a fact. Damn. 
Damn, all the way back. Come on, Fred, give me a big three. <sighs> Stupid Fred. I agree, the red guy here is slow, so much people don't like to use a however one hour game put the game online. We can use all four here at the same time. That'd be awesome. You mean, I'm uh well <clears throat> It was the movie with John Goodman, but I'm just talking about the cartoon in general, monkey. <laughs> yes, the cartoon was awesome. Okay. You remember the Jetson? How many Hanna-Barbera cartoons do you remember? Cause some people I know don't didn't watch all of them, but I I love the Hanna Barbera stuff, man. All right, so I can just go to the next screen. Congratulations. Stage one clear. I'm guessing that's it. I just have to get the the blue hat guy in every level. To be continued. Thank you. Yeah, so here I am. Yeah, so there's a blue hat guy up here. That's that's gotta be it. I just have to be the blue hat guy in my level. This cartoon was awesome. I don't beat up the monkey. I've watched the Pebbles and Bam Bam the animation dressed up as Pebbles Flintstone. Shibi Inu! Hello, I saw you gave me a recent follow. Uh, I don't recognize your name, but you're not a first time chat apparently. So you must have been in here before and I just, my brain's not there. But hi and welcome in. How are you this evening? Also, I like the username. You are the Doge. So this is the only one I remember seeing lots of, but yeah, I remember the Jetsons and a bunch of the others. I don't see here and there. Upstairs, I changed the username. Oh, <laughs> Lou. Uh, so like some, did anybody ever watch Wacky Racers? Because Wacky Racers was one of my favorite things. It basically took every Hanna Barbera character and put him in like a Gumball Rally 3000 like uh, road race, and it was amazing. And I think my favorite characters were Snidely and Whiplash, or Snidely, Whiplash, and Muttley. Um, they had like the Red Baron playing and the dog, you know, <laughs> every time the guy screwed up, which he inevitably did all the time. Uh, but there was like Grape Ape. Oh, who else was Hanna Barbera? Um, God, uh, Huckleberry Hound and El Cabong. I don't remember. Was the El Cabong was like the alter ego of like a a horse or a not a moose? I think it was just a a horse. And I think he had a couple. It was like El Cabong and Quick Draw McGraw. I don't remember if that was the same character or not. But I definitely remember those characters. And oh, oh, here's a good one. Captain Caveman. Captain Caveman. And son. And apparently I died. I don't really know why there. Thanks. <laughs> Giving me poop for dying. Did you take your shower? Nice to know Triceratops are that easy to kill. Just whack, one hit, they're toast. Damn goat. I got smoked by the goat. 
I assume that's a goat, because I don't know what the hell else it would be. Like some kind of freaky dinosaur style goat. Kai looks obsessive slow movements. A choice pick. I don't know anything about that game, guys. I'm gonna have to look that up, though. I don't own an iArcade, but, you know, I'll give it a look. I just, I have so much gaming crap, I don't know that I can justify buying something like an iArcade. Aren't they like 300 bucks? Come on! Instant death is bullshit. I don't care for that instant death nonsense. Go back the other way. <laughs> Wee. Boop. At some point, Barney's gonna make it past this bridge. I'm about to do it, so I'm just gonna save state my way through it. The one up. The game is generous with the one ups. I like that so far. It's always I always hate it when a game is like stingy with the one ups. NBA Jam where you can play as Thanos and other new Well that sounds interesting. NBA Jam is a is a really good game. Oh really? The dude's like up there next to the wives? That's kinda janky. At least now I kinda know which way I'm going. I think the other three are so much faster. It gets overlooked. Okay, 
or something that has online because there's no other way to. Yeah, they do have an. Uh, there is an arcade one up of NBA Jam. It's even four player. I know that they came out with that a couple of years ago. Oh God, poor Fred's about to get dragged off by his wife. That's I've, that's really kind of annoying. Okay, so there's a few easily to pick out annoying things here. One, the the random die roll movement on your world map, and then two, the wives that just do nothing but impede progress because they just take you backwards. Like, not even a good reason. Just, oh, it's your wife. She caught you there, and now she's going to drag you back two or three spaces. That's dumb. Oh, that's a toast. I had that cab. I gave it to my son for Christmas. <laughs> I don't... He knows the old one. Oh, hey, let me drag you backwards. Or drag me forwards. No. I said last time she dragged me forwards, I guess, and that was great. But Boy, she dragged me all the way. God. Bogus. Tournament edition. NBA Jam is still an insanely playable game. Like, some of those old arcade games did not hold up particularly well, but NBA Jam still plays excellently. And actually, it is in the first NBA Jam port for the Super Nintendo is in the list of games uh, in the current set of five that I'm working on, and Joey will actually be home. Uh, I will not be... I will... I will likely not be streaming on Saturday night because we're leaving to get Joey from college on Friday. And then we'll be home Saturday night. I don't know that I'll be home in time to stream. But uh, I do know that Joey will be home when we play NBA Jam. So we'll get to play that together, which is awesome because NBA Jam is a fantastic game. Oh, come on. Murder flower. That's this level, it's just a flat, flat land with giant murder flowers. Oh, bogus. Respawn. Uncool. Be careful on the quest to acquire. Son Joe. Yeah, we'll drive as careful as we need to. Did you hear me making Bone Wish came for the quest called Bone Lab? I did not hear that, Sheba. Is it, is it actually going to be interesting? Oh, that's uncool. This dude runs away from me. Sweet. Wilma went the wrong way. Oh my god, this level again. Does anybody else in the chat here, do any of you guys have a quest? Or I guess a meta quest, Oculus quest, whatever the hell you want to call it at this point. the rocks by running on them. Nope. Have you guys tried the, the quests at all? Uh, we, I have one, Louie has one, and Joey all have one. And recently I just finished uh, Resident Evil 4 VR and it is very, very good. Full game on the original NES that everyone is talking about. Original football game on the NES? Surely you mean Tecmo Bowl. The best football game ever. Uh, we'll see about backwards. 
Christmas video I do five hundred. Beat you guys last night. Cart race. Oh, it's a cart race this time. Cool. Cool. Yes. It should absolutely be uh, tech mobile. I mean, if you're talking about any kind of of football game on the NES, it's got to be tech mobile. And I know there's a couple others. Like, I know 10 Yard Fight is one. Uh, I think there's a couple others as well. I just realized, like, if you look at the top of the screen, there's a freaking timer on this race, which is a load of shit. How are you going to time a race? Like, I'm in first. Like, there shouldn't even be a timer, man. I think the driving race seems to be significantly easier than the foot race was, though. I say as I biff it. People love the game. It's not a sports game fan. Love watching sports, man. You know what? Uh, I mean, that's fair, Beach. I'm not a huge sports gamer. In fact, I, I mean, I'm, we, I've hit a couple baseball games on the Super Nintendo that are okay to play, but nothing that I would want to own. But I will say that if I had to pick sports games, like NBA Jam <laughs> uh, is definitely the basketball game. Uh, Tecmo Bowl is for sure the football game. I have yet to find an ice hockey game that I really enjoy. Uh, soccer, me and Joey have ran across a couple. But I think like Super Mario Strikers for the GameCube is probably my pick there. Uh, what else we got? Boxing, you got to go with Punch Out or Super Punch Out. Uh, what other sports games are there, man? I'm struggling to even think of them. The brain's not working. Golf. Neo Turf Masters is an excellent golf game. As are really any of the Mario Golfs. If you had a computer even though the game is now there, tear down and beam NG drive. <laughs> yeah, Louie, my youngest son, Louie, he likes those games. He also has a bunch of Call of Duty for the Xboxes. And seeing as I'm just now getting into the Xbox... Whoa! Come on now, that's uncool. I'm just now getting into FPSs on uh, consoles, and I hate it, really. So it came with a lot of sports games. I'll never play them, but they are cool to have because they're on the Dreamcast. <laughs> I mean, the Dreamcast, yeah, if I recall, the Dreamcast, that was, it had a ton of sports games, and that was really kind of like it. Like, that was the Dreamcast's big thing, was like, sports games, which is kind of a bummer. I know so little about the Dreamcast. Oh, what's this? Interesting. A, uh, level where I'm going the opposite direction than normal. Look at them change it up on me. Die. Oh, look at that, it gave me fruit. I wonder if it knows when you're low on health and is willing to give you like an RNG, like, oh, you need this now. Dreamcast was the first symptom. That I did know. Dreamcast was ahead of its time. It had the modem built into the damn thing. Dreamcast was made. Yeah, I know very, very little about the Dreamcast. Other than it failed horribly. Not that Sega's the only company to have that happen to them, so. Come on, man. You're just going to make me play every level. I just want to get to the exit and go to the next area. Well, 
that didn't work out. <laughs> Where am I going? Way, Jesus, way over there. Not as, oh my God, it's so far away. Also, it's pretty much time for me to be done for the night. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and final thought this game out. Hey, look, this level again, because Barney's gonna roll a one forever. Um, I'm torn on this game actually. Like, the sprite work. And the backgrounds and the bitmap, I mean, everything looks really good, actually. Like, I think they did a good job visually on this game for the age. Uh, the sound, the music's okay. It's nothing to write home about. The rest of the sounds of the game aren't anything special. The cutscenes aren't amazing by any stretch. But the gameplay is okay. It's not perfect, but... The controls are responsive. I'm not impressed by anything it's doing, but it's good. So... I don't... I don't think that alone is, makes this game worth owning. Um, what the f*** was that? Come on! Talk about lose half your freaking progress. It's a bit gimmicky though. I mean, you know, it's a licensed platformer game. It's not it's not gonna be amazing. I didn't expect it to be. But I will say that after playing uh, some games that are licensed old cartoons, I did expect it to be worse. <laughs> uh, so I think that they have done fairly well, all things considered. And I am if not impressed, uh, more than happy with what it is, you know? Do I think it's worth going out and getting, like hunting it down? I don't think it's worth hunting down, but it's hard to, to say that it's a bad game. I don't think it's bad. And I've... Ah, oh, fudge play it live we can watch it um sega genesis got a new game a week or two ago that, you know what kills me monkey is or not monkey sorry uh beach is the number of people still making games for old systems like micro mages for the nes um god there was a, another game for the sega a couple years back that was really good it was a twin stick shooter um you know, I know there are people making games for, like, Dreamcast and stuff. I have a new game for the Game Boy. Uh, so that was impressive that that exists. Anyway, back to this real quick. I'm gonna... I'm gonna give this a thumbs up, actually. Because I don't think this is a bad game. I don't think... I don't think it's something that you should avoid or avidly be like, I don't want this. It's a reasonably good platformer. The levels, the, well, the world stages are different. The levels are very short. It's got a couple of real pitfalls in that the women uh, just kind of impede your progress. But also, again, the levels are super short, so it's not that massive of a deal. The other thing is the, that the random die movement thing really kind of bothers me. Like, why? Why would you put that in here? Why don't you just... Like, if I'm going to end up fighting every level almost, just make me go from level to level. Don't make me roll a die in hopes that I'm going to get past it. Because it's obviously not going to work. So it just seems silly to give me some kind of false hope. Um, I would have really loved to have made it to the third set of stages to see what they are, you know. Like, the first stage was just regular grassland, and then this area is volcanoes. So it would have been neat to see the others. Alright, game. Pit Fighter still reigns. Oh yeah, Pit Fighter still reigns supreme is the worst thing we've played. Uh, leaps and bounds ahead of everything else. I mean, we've played a couple other, like, bad games, but nothing that's... Nothing that's Pit Fighter bad. Hey, alright. Come on, big three, big three! 
Because why would I get... Total expert with the use of twin sticks. I suck at twin stick shooters. Um, one of the reasons I actually didn't particularly care for... Uh, got a Smash TV. It's, I'm just not... I'm not good at it. I, I am bad at coordinating both of my hands at once, which is one of the reasons that I suck at uh, FPSs on a console. Like, you give me a mouse and a keyboard, I'll do all right. Oh, that was kind of bogus. But yeah, on a console with the two joysticks, I kind of suck. Uh, I'm going to call that it. We're going to give Flintstones a thumbs up. It's not a bad game. I think it's totally playable. And, like, if I ran into it for cheap enough, I wouldn't argue about getting it for, like, five bucks. You know? I'm curious, uh, real quick, everybody, what do you think it costs? We're going to pull it up on price charting. Flintstone, Sierra Mad Rock, price charting. I'm going to guess, before I, before I go in and look, I'm going to guess, like, ten dollars. Five or ten bucks is my assumption. Um, Twenty-three dollars from Monkey... We're talking U.S. dollars. What do you guys think? $23 on Monkey. I'm saying 20 Or no, I said 10 didn't I? I said 10 bucks. Frey, you got a bet? 21 Oh, look at you. Price is right in me. Lewis, you booger. All right. Whoa, we're all way off. <laughs> Apparently this game did not sell well. Um, or it was rare. Gee. So loose, loose copy of this for the Super Nintendo is $75 US. Complete in box is $300. That's insane. I would not have anticipated this game to be that expensive because I certainly don't feel it's worth anywhere near that amount of money. That's just bonkers. But, yeah, we're going to call that a night. So thank you, everybody. Freya, Stupid Monkey, uh, Beej, Lord Goober, Shiba Inu. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming in and hanging out this evening. I appreciate you all. Like I said, I will not... I, very likely not streaming on Saturday night because we'll just be getting back. Um, but the next game on the docket is MLBPA Baseball. So a baseball game, unfortunately. Um, and then after that is NBA Jam, Star Trek, and Wolfenstein 3D. So we got some good games coming up, maybe. We'll see. Star Trek looks like garbage. And I'm a Trekkie, so that kind of sucks. But it, it is what it is. So thank you very much. We'll see you guys uh, this weekend. Uh, all you have a wonderful end of your work week. Peace out.